Hey everyone, welcome back to our Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play for Croatia Tech here. And we're going to dive right in and get going here. Um, appreciate everybody sticking with the series. Um, I believe the, the total Let's Play series now has gone somewhere over 9 hours. So you guys that have stuck all the way through it, hey, <laughs> nice job for hanging with me that long. Um, if you remember where we le last left off with the last couple of episodes, we... We're kind of minding our own business a little bit, but we knew Hungary was going to be a problem. I was toying with the idea of attacking Hungary, and then he ended up pushing that BS claim he had on Krševec, and we defended against him, but then what happened was the Duke of Transylvania, which is lo was, was located within uh, Hungary, I guess that technically doesn't exist anymore, does it? Um, well, yeah, it is. Transylvania's right there. Okay. Um, anyway, he took over as king, and I believe his heir now is the old guy, Geza, or whatever. So, now, what do we do next? A couple things, I was, as I usually do, I was looking around here prior to starting. Um, a couple things, uh, the new patch uh, came out, and they have the new uh, Create a Leader DLC, and they also added some music uh DLC packs, which I did buy one of those today. I bought the like the Holy Lands one because I figured that would play. And actually, I think one of the new songs was just playing before I started the recording. Um, I think this one playing now is a repeat, though. But anyway, so maybe we'll hear some new music during these couple of episodes. It, it, getting back to my stratagem here <laughs> from some people on the that have been posting on my previous videos and all. Um, I'm thinking a good idea, and you can tell I have right now selected the du jour kingdoms, so we can kind of see the actual, you know, instead of just seeing the big Holy Roman Empire blob, we can actually see it broken into the, uh, you know, designations. Bohemia. My strategy here, I'm thinking, is I think I'm going to jump on Hungary, and to show you something, this is something, and I... If I can remember to annotate the name of the person who showed me how to do this, I will because I wasn't aware of this. If you're wondering like how many troops, um, the levy size of a country or a leader or whatever, the way to find out is to go and click on them. This is the easiest way to find out that I, that someone mentioned in my uh, one of my previous videos, is you just go into the realm tree here, and you can hover right here on the little soldier levy icon here and it shows that the total levy is the top one so if he was you know totally filled up the total levy would be 45 12 there that he'd be able to pull but it's saying that currently right now right this minute he could pull 34 41. so right this minute he could pull about 3400 guys up and if we look at us king ash here we can pull about 28 2900 so he doesn't really have that huge of an advantage on us, and the other thing being is that I have 913 cash right now. So I can hire some beefy mercenary stacks and probably beat them into submission fairly quickly. Um, the, the biggest danger area would be probably would be right at the very beginning. Um, but I think my strategy would be is to, to hire a mercenary stack a pretty big one. Like, I'd probably go in here and get, like, maybe this one here for 300 even. That's a 4161. Hire them right away and immediately move them and have them start jumping in smaller areas before he can get gathered up. However, the first step, and I'm sorry to drag this explanation on, um, the first step is Bohemia. Bohemia, when we had the battle last time, it was the Transylvania king who went at him. But Bohemia also went at Hungary too with some like excommunication war type thing. Well, Bohemia, the king over here, King Savatobor, Sav he um he kind of digs me already. He's he's liking me. 67. He's um you know we're both drunkards, so you know we're drinking buddies. So we we got something in common. And I tell you what, old dude, I'm not sure about this man. This guy, he's got come on now 18 come on but anyway what I was planning on doing here 
is I think I'm going to send him a gift. I can send him 140, and yeah, that's a lot of gold, but it increases his opinion by 49. I mean, that's going to throw us up to 100 with him. That's ally level. Um, however, he does have a truce, so I'm not sure if he would join in or not, but we will see. So, I'm thinking I was going to throw the money at him, and when was the truce until... 11, 20, 10 years, yeah. So I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. Um, yeah, I'm not I'm not 100% sure if that's going to work or not. But I'm thinking I'm going to try that. Throw him the gift. Declare war. Go to war. See if he's able. this guy is able to join in as an ally. And go from there. Um, so yeah, that's the... That's the plan. Let's take a look real quick. A couple of little things too is for I had a couple people asking me about the they, they show the causes of death now, and obviously for me looking around and some of you other people might have figured this out as well is obviously for people who died prior to this patch it just says natural death for everybody. It shows my sister dying of natural death at 32, but the way I knew it was that I really know it was bullcrap was because if I go in here and I look at the ex-king Geza, remember we killed his, we assassinated his father and his grandfather, and for both of them here it shows natural death, so obviously it marks everybody's natural death, and then maybe going forward now it'll start marking them with, you know, what they really died of. Um, I also noticed another thing with the patch, they had a lot of new stuff. I did notice too that they have this new little plot button here where you can like quickly choose a plot, you know, you can instigate a plot to, you know, assassinate somebody or something. So that's um, kind of convenient and easier to get plots going to get rid of people. Um, rather than just trying to do an assassinate, you can actually do a plot, which, you know, works a little better typically. So I think we have all of our guys already doing something. However, what I want to do is... I'm going to have him stop doing that. I have him train troops there. We're going to have our spy master stop that and start a spy network. Let's double check everything else. Got to let it run a few days for that. Okay. I'm now known as a drunkard. I thought I already was. Okay, um... Alright, so we're good on all the bishops. Let's double check our vassals real quick. Um, yeah, we're good on that. Alright, so let's go ahead and give this a try. And hey, if it blows my face, oh well. I've been pretty damn lucky up to this point in this game. So let's go ahead and send him a gift of 140. Send. So now we are major in coups with that dude. And let's go ahead and go in here. Declare war. Um, King Ash the Drunkard. Come on now, really? Um, Okay, so, game on. Let's go in here, let's hire... That one. Okay. Pause for just a second here. Okay, I just want to make sure that the war did actually go, because it seemed like he was kind of slow getting his troops moving there. Um, let's take all of... Wait, let's see. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Stop a second. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay. Let's put all of these guys to there. These guys to there. Move this guy up to there. And this guy up to there. I want to have a smaller second force over there, so I'll have three 
at first. So then we can just start dropping lands and use the 4100 to go around and stomp some people, possibly. So let's um, keep that going. Now I'm wondering if I'm not seeing his troops because he's based from Transylvania and they're over here in this fogged area and he's not pulling troops out of this area because of him just taking over. If that's the case, what I need to do is I need to keep moving this guy over a little bit. I can't move my spy. I should have put him a little more central. Okay, boom. There we go. Yeah, that one's definitely going to go there. Then let's do... Um... I think I did something wrong there, but let's put them together. Have them try to get over there real quick. Okay, let's stop that. Okay, they're going to Fedger, so let's just keep going that way. Try to catch them. Stop for a second. Okay, yep. We're going to keep him going there. We'll merge them up. Stop. Okay, where's this guy going? He's going to Pest. So let's go up here. I'm trying to just head off some of these bigger groups. Okay, somebody came minus touched. Excellent. Okay, let's take... This one... Stop. I didn't mean to unpause that there. Okay, this troop here... Merge them... Try and corner that guy. Okay. That looks pretty good. My favorite subject does not interest me anymore, and I can't speak about it when the same with the same zeal as before. Okay. And I did notice that we did not get the ally thing, so I guess that just did not quite work out how we had hoped. Um Okay, so we caught that one. That's good. Um, where's this guy going? He's going to box. Okay. Um, my liege, during my stay in Christopher, I found a great philosopher who's agreed to help me with my studies to enhance culture in the province. With your permission, I would suggest that we employ him. Um, hmm. Fifty gold right now in the middle of a war, dude? <laughs> I'm losing eight per month. This war could take a while. I'm gonna have to say no. I, I mean, I'd like the upgrade, but... Okay. Alright, let's pause a second so we can take a look at what's going on here. Like I said, we're just trying to jump everything he's got. Let's move this guy up this way. See if I can squash the rest of these down here with these guys. My daughter, Princess Pamela, is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I might have to rein her in a bit. No, she has reason to be proud. I uh, see she could get humble or proud. No effect or proud. 
try that one. 